Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to insert data into the DynamoDB database using a Lambda function. Let's start by searching for DynamoDB on the AWS console and then hit create table. Enter the name of the table, partition key and sort key. And for table settings, I'm going to leave everything to default and then click on create table. Once the table is created, click on explore items in the left menu. Click on the create item button and give a value for property underscore state and property underscore ID. Looks like our insert went through as expected. Now let's go back to the AWS console and search for IAM, which stands for Identity and Access Management. Click on roles in the left menu, then hit the create role button. Choose Lambda and hit next. Search for DynamoDB and select DynamoDB full access, then click on next. Give this role a name and then hit the create role button. This will ensure that our Lambda function will have full access to the DynamoDB. Go back to the AWS console and this time search for Lambda. Click on create function and give your function a name. For runtime, I'm going to select Python and for default execution role, we're going to select the full access DynamoDB role that we just created. In the code source section, I'm going to copy paste pre-written Python code. On line two, I am importing the Boto3 library, which is the SDK for AWS. On line four, I'm creating the DynamoDB client, and on line five, I'm calling the property table. Inside the lambda underscore handler function, I'm using the put underscore item method to insert the event in the property table. On line 10, I'm returning table.scan, which will return all the items from the property table. Next, click on the test button and give your test event a name. For the event JSON key value pairs, I'm going to specify the values for property ID, state, and county. Hit save, then click on deploy. Click on test again, and you should see a response back with table.scan value. You can also go back to the DynamoDB interface and hit the refresh button to see whether our insert went through or not. Next, let's configure the test event so we can change our insert values. This time I'm going to specify California as my state and San Diego as my county. Click on the test button to test your Lambda function one more time and go back to the DynamoDB interface to confirm that our second insert went through. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.